Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things to remember before seeing The Matrix Resurrections. I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Hi. The only thing that matters to you is still here. For this list, we're looking at both important story elements from the original films and other notable points of interest about the Matrix franchise that you should know before the new flick hits theaters. What's your favorite moment from the Matrix franchise? Shoot us a comment down below. Number 10. Only two original core cast members remain. When word got out that another Matrix movie was being made, a lot of discussion was had about who from the original trilogy would appear. Have we met? Once the cast was announced, both relief and disappointment were felt. Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss were set to return as their original characters. However, Lawrence Fishburne and Hugo Weaving were both missing from the roster. I must get out of here. I must get free. Weaving was slated to appear, but a scheduling conflict prevented it. And as for Morpheus, he apparently was killed off through the events of the Matrix Online video game. We will, however, see a few other familiar faces in the characters of Niobe and the Merovingian. Why is what separates us from them? Number 9. The Machines Planned for the One All Along The diatribe of the architect and the Matrix Reloaded may have confused fans, but it certainly did provide us with a massive information dump, albeit confusingly so. Hello, Neo. Who are you? We learned about how the machines used the Matrix as a measure of control over humanity. But even for them, they realized no system would ever be perfect, and that the nature of humanity would allow for some to learn the truth. Knowing that, the architect tells Neo this important line. While it remains a burden assiduously avoided, it is not unexpected and thus not beyond a measure of control. What that translates to is that the machines always knew a resistance would exist, and therefore instituted programs and plans to accommodate it as best they could. Which has led you inexorably here. Number 8. There have been six versions of The Matrix. The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world, built to keep us under control. One of the biggest questions to be answered by The Matrix Resurrections is at what point in time does it take place? When Neo met the architect, he was told there had been six iterations of The Matrix, including one that was a near paradise for humankind. The Matrix is older than you know. I prefer counting from the emergence of one integral anomaly to the emergence of the next, in which case this is the sixth version. After the architect's first two attempts failed, the Oracle came up with the current version of the Matrix, which Neo learns is now on cycle number four. Given that peace was established at the end of the last Matrix movie, it begs the question of whether this is number seven or something else. This will be the sixth time we have destroyed it, and we have become exceedingly efficient at it. Number 7. Neo made a deal with the machines. With a single word uttered from his mouth, Neo put the war against humanity on pause. What do you want? Peace. When Smith describes how his death freed him at the end of the first Matrix, he essentially became a rogue program, not controlled by any other machine. As a result, he found a way to replicate himself like a virus through every program within the Matrix, and then even into the real world through the likes of Bane. What are you talking about? I think I might enjoy killing you as much as killing him. This presented a threat that Neo was in a unique position to address. The machines agreed, as they allowed him to defeat Smith, and thus gave others the ability to be freed from the Matrix. <laughs> Number 6. The Merovingian was the king of the Matrix Underground One of the more interesting characters of the two sequel movies was the Merovingian. Ah, here he is at last. Also known as the Frenchman, he acts almost like a crime lord within the boundaries of the Matrix itself. Exiled programs, which would otherwise be deleted, make use of the Frenchman to stay alive within the Matrix. Cause and effect, my love. Cause? There is no cause. Cause for this what cause? He's said to be a very old program, and has tried to take the place of the Oracle, even going as far as to try to con other programs to help get the Oracle's kill code. 
Since he is slated to reappear in the new movie, you may want to do a little research on the Frenchman's history within the franchise. I do hope, however, she has the good manners to learn her lesson and to remember that there is no action without consequence. Number 5. It's been 18 years since the last movie came out. Released in 2003, The Matrix Revolutions concluded the story of Neo's fight for humanity against Agent Smith and the machines. He saved us. He saved us. Since then, only the game The Matrix Online has given us any clues about what happened after the conclusion of the last movie. Fans have theorized plenty about the peace between humans and the machines, as well as what other stories could be told. The Matrix was also highly inspirational to other filmmakers when it came to how special effects and high-octane action sequences were shot. As a result, a great amount of improvements have been made in those passing years. We cannot wait to see how this new offering will leverage all of modern-day cinema's abilities. Number 4. Humankind Started This Fight In the realm of the Matrix, does B166ER ring a bell? He's featured in the Second Renaissance, one of the stories told in 2003's The Animatrix. B166ER a name that will never be forgotten. He was one of many machines used by humans for manual labor long before the war. He became the subject of a trial when he acted in self-defense against a human being. Rational voices dissented. Who was to say the machine, endowed with the very spirit of man, did not deserve a fair hearing? The prosecutor argued the right for an owner to destroy their property, and won. The machine, along with many like him, were abolished, and a massive backlash ensued. From there, the machines evolved, and eventually war broke out, bringing us to the events of the first movie. Had humankind been more tolerant of their own creations, no human power plants would ever have been built. Number 3. Neo was originally a computer programmer. Given everything we saw Neo accomplish as the One, it's easy to forget that his journey to the Matrix started as Thomas Anderson. What the hell? He was a computer programmer by day and a hacker by night, even going as far as to sell illicit tech to others. It was his computer savviness and keen observation skills that had him questioning the world around him. You believe that you are special, that somehow the rules do not apply to you. Obviously, you are mistaken. Had he been something far more pedestrian, Morpheus may never have found him and gotten him to take the red pill. Could these same skills also be useful for the upcoming movie? We hope so. Time to fly. Number 2. The Oracle Foretold the Return of Neo When Santi asks the question about Neo, it seems the Oracle knows something that the rest of us don't. Will we ever see him again? I suspect so. Someday. Given everything she's seen over the course of multiple versions of The Matrix, it's not a big leap to believe that she knows the true nature of what happened to Neo at the end of The Matrix Revolutions. Did you always know? Oh no. No, I didn't. But I believed. I believed. The trailer for The Matrix Resurrections refers to Keanu Reeves' character as both Thomas and Neo, which tells us that the Oracle statement is indeed true. When the new movie finally comes out, hopefully we'll see how this new Neo is connected to the original. You don't know me, no? Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Zion was the last human city on Earth, located underground where the Earth is still warm. Neo was blinded in the Matrix. A fight with Bane slash Agent Smith took his eyesight. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Neo died at the end of The Matrix Revolutions Remember how we told you that Smith had become a rogue program? 
The deal discussed in a previous entry finally came to fruition at the end of the Matrix Revolutions. When Neo allowed himself to be absorbed by Smith, it provided a link between the machines in the real world and the Smith program now residing inside of Neo. That link allowed the machines to delete Smith from the Matrix and subsequently end the war. The last we see of Neo is one of the machines carrying him away after he surrenders to his injuries. Given that Neo is alive and well in the trailer for the new movie, as is Trinity, we're assuming we'll get an answer as to what really happened. If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to fool on me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.